The Netherlands may be a small country, but the Dutch are known for many things. Cycling, cheese, coffee shops, windmills, and being the tallest people in the world. But there's one thing they rarely do. Dutch people don't say sorry. Nee. Nou, dat kan ik me niet herinneren hoor. <laughs> dat is een hele tijd geleden. If they say sorry, they don't really mean it. Experts like Saskia Maarsen say that there's a cultural reason for this. The Dutch are known as being direct, which means that the messages are quite precise and clear. Whereas in most other countries, the communication style is indirect, meaning that, well, to understand that you have to look uh, to the underlying values. And in the British communication style, there's much more politeness, diplomacy and tact. Whereas in the Netherlands communication style, if you look at the underlying values, there's, uh, it's about transparency and openness and honesty. I asked people from other countries how they see this curious habit. I was born in Indonesia. I uh, come from Maastricht. I was born in Chicago, Illinois. I come out from Syria. I grew up um, mixed culture. There are two different sides because Indonesians are not direct at all. And we tend to talk around things, whereas the Dutch is really like, if you want to say something, say it to my face and be direct about it. Like, just get to the point. What do you want? Are we a little bit rude, maybe? Kind of. Kind of. But I, I think it's a culture. The younger are very good on their bikes, always saying sorry. And then some people, the older generation of Dutch, aren't. They don't. No. And als iemand iets vervelends zegt, hè, of in een gezelschap of wat dan ook, dan uh, ga ik wel uh, dat achterhalen. En dan weet ik ook de reden. Het kan een goede reden zijn, het kan ook niet zo goed zijn en dan zeg ik dat. Dus uh, ja, ik ben wat dat betreft wel, uh, wel beleefd in die dingen, ja. <laughs> kan ik wel zeggen van mezelf. This is actually a thing that we've been talking on the way here. How Dutch I can be with my directness, because sometimes under pressure I do tend to be very short. No, 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 you don't use words. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, there it is. <laughs> of course, as with any trend, there are exceptions. I have been dealing with Dutch three years. Uh, they often say sorry. I think she's more the one who says it. Yeah, she says it and she mean it. And generally, they will say sorry, but only if they mean it. In the British communication style, sorry is a good word to use in order to be uh, more diplomatic or uh, polite. While we should say, well, you only say sorry if you're really sorry. Ah, als ik, als ik weet ik fout ben, zeg ik sorry. Ja. Ik ken heel slecht tegen onrecht, maar als ik zeker weet dat ik zelf fout ben, zeg ik echt, ja, dan zeg ik sorry. Oh, yeah. This culture trend has a curious historical and practical origin. The direct communication style is part of the consensus culture. If you look at the history, we have this one common enemy, which is the water. So centuries ago, the people were forced to work together to find solutions for the battle against the water. What they did is sitting around tables and having long discussions and long deliberations and it was needed to be honest about your ideas and your thoughts and your opinions so they could find out a common solution. The other thing is in order to take all the opinions and ideas seriously, people had to see each other as equal. And that still is, it is deep rooted and it's still a part of the communication style. Well, you came up to me once and you said that when you go to a place, a terrace or something, that no one is coming to you. Yeah. Right? And you won't, you won't step. <laughs> I, will, I will wait until somebody shows up or I give up and leave. Yeah, and I will confront them until they come. Yeah, but that's Dutch. This Dutch directness can cause translation issues, especially when talking with Brits, who don't always say what they think. If you have a business proposal, and the Englishman or woman says, well, that's very interesting, I'll, I will have a look at it. We really translate that, oh, that's interesting, so they are interested. While it could also mean, well, I'm not interested and it's, such, it's a bad idea. And then the challenge for Dutch people is to find out what the real meaning of the words is. And we can both speak English, but it doesn't mean that we get the real message. And also, of course, for the people in the UK, it's challenging to not be that shocked because of the directness, because it's meant to be honest and clear. 
but it's often perceived as being rude and even arrogant. Do we think that Dutch people need to say sorry more? Now, I say meestal. Nou, dat heb ik niet bedoeld of het spijt me. Ja, yeah, het spijt me is more serious than sorry. Het spijt me, ja, yeah, het really comes from your heart. Het spijt me, it involves, it, it involves more. It, it involves a, a story, a situation. Sorry is sorry, but het spijt me really, really sorry. Only say sorry if you really want to say sorry. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps then we can all learn a little more from my culture and use the word sorry more carefully. Sorry!